All right, so let's talk about the Doja Cat album, Scarlet. A lot of people were saying all this demon imagery, all of this ritual, quote-unquote, type of stuff for the Grim Reaper on Paint the Town Red to only sell 55K on the first week. Turns out she sold about 72K officially, which I think is good numbers, but... A lot of people were saying Doja Cat is at that caliber of Nicki Minaj, of Cardi B. So her numbers first week should be over 100K. But I don't think it's as simple as that because of how this streaming has changed from Billboard, what they count, what they don't count, how they switched it up from bundles to not bundles. 72K is good. 55K, I understand people making fun of it given that she's shown these weird pictures and imagery. And they're saying she sold her soul just for that. But I don't think that's the case. Even though I personally don't like the overall imagery. I'm going to talk about the music. I like her voice in Well Vagina. The chorus is better than Demons. Although a little repetitive in Well Vagina, the verses do good. Um, Demons just isn't for me personally. I saw the video. I thought... I don't like the way she looks in the video with the demon um, portrayal and the other person. It just doesn't look appealing. The tone and chorus and, chorus and verses don't be enjoyable. The pace of the verse is slow compared to other songs and the chorus being long for me is unpleasant personally. So that's the one track that I just don't like. It's one of the main tracks she puts out as a single basically. Paint the Town Red. That's my track, personally, that I do enjoy possibly the most on this album. It has the imagery type, but I actually enjoy the visuals from the video when it comes to the Grim Reaper. And it's actually aesthetically appealing overall from the actual footage and visuals of it. Pay the Town Red as a song is perfect, in my opinion. This mainstream pop rap song, I think it's probably the best one she has on a project. Great to be a single. Great hook, great verses, great beat. <laughs> I think it's great everything. Now listen, before I keep going with this, like I said, on certain parts of the imagery, it's like that one picture she showed of her forehead where it was just zooming in. She had the bald look and she was popping her eyes out strongly. Like I think she was showing her acne too or something. I understand what she's trying to do, not trying to be like these other females that focus completely on her looks, where she's doing the complete opposite and just trying to focus on the music. That's what it seems to me like. But I start to wonder if the fact that she talked about her fans the way she did, which I actually agree with, these type of fans that, <laughs> for whatever reason, they have to have the profile picture of the artist. They live through this artist, basically. They don't even have a life of their own. They're always just trying to speak as a Doja Cat fan, quote-unquote, in this example. Being a Twitter user that just has Doja Cat in the profile picture and just posts everything about another person's life instead of living their own life, Doja Cat rightfully so responded with, hey, fuck that, like, stop trying to be obsessed with me. You look weird. Focus on your life. That doesn't mean she doesn't like her fans, but it isn't always all about me. Don't be that type of stand. But now, I wonder if that's what actually lowered her sales because she did 100K before on the other one. This one did 72K, which is still good in my opinion. Fuck the girls I didn't like. The verses about them being, they being with her and then being against and then being against them. So she says, fuck the girl and says, I don't need. I'm too pretty. She wasn't pretty this whole album. <laughs> I put that in parentheses because the whole imagery was she not looking overall pleasing aesthetically. However, I think the fact that she says that is because she acknowledges that she feels pretty regardless of what other people think. Clearly the way she responded to her fans. Now, I wrote this very fast, but yeah. Fuck the girls. I remember the chorus, the way she's actually screaming it overall. It's not a scream, but it's like on a higher tone, more aggressive. I didn't overall just like it, in my opinion. 
I don't know. I don't know. It was one of the least one pleasing. That she's saying that some of the girls are against her, then they're for her. Yeah, that's why she says, fuck the girls. Like, sometimes they're with me, sometimes they're against me. She doesn't give a fuck. But not one of my favorite tracks. Ouches sounds like an old school track. I remember that one too. Honestly, at first listen, it felt forgettable, even though she's rapping more and more aggressively. 97, that track from the start, that sounds amazing to me. Great track, the beat, fire beat, fire beat. The chorus is sexy in tone. It sounds like a sexy song, which is the style. So my camera ran out, but now I'm back. We back with this. Gun is another song that I like. Let's talk about that one. The lyrics are explicit, but the beat and voice are nice. Got with that tone that I usually like from Doja Cat. Go Off is decent. It feels like a pop rap song. They use it on TikTok. Or reels for a doja edit with some other famous woman celebrity i remember this i remember this that's why i put it just like that because you know how they be using these type of tracks for the reels and for the tiktok edits especially just somebody walking and overall you have like this type of music i remember this one the second half of shut Yo, to me it's fire the way she's rapping and rhyming uh, i put bitch as well that because that's part of it of the rhyming the first part is okay but the second part, singing is better. The singing on the second part is definitely better. Agora Hills, I saw the video. This is very smooth, fire song. I did put the video as weird, though, because, I don't know, it seems like she's intentionally trying to do her best on every video to make it weird. The only one that I will say I did find aesthetically pleasing is Paint the Town Red. But this one, Agora Hills, was a very fire song, one of the best ones in my opinion, very smooth. And she's not rapping as much on this one. The video though, I do find it weird. Often I'm not sure if I like the high pitched voice. Not really sure. I don't think it's a bad song, but I'm just maybe I have to listen to it more and get used to that high pitched tone. But <laughs> she has this different type of tones throughout the project. So you're not gonna get a stale type of Doja Cat album here. You're gonna get different aggressive vibes. Screaming sometimes, not screaming sometimes. Rapping very smoothly, higher pitch tone, lower pitch tone. You're going to get it all. If you want that, you're going to get it here. Love Life. This one I do like. It's a positive song. She talks about loving in a more explicit way than I'm interpreting here. Of course, how she has intimacy with her partner, her relationship. She talks about how she loves showing in her life the music to people overall. She talks about loving life in itself and the surroundings just in general. Very smooth chorus. Great verse. No complaints on this one for me. This one actually probably the most positive track on the overall project. She's just literally telling you how much she loves life factually. Nothing felt repetitive, even though she does say a lot on this song. I love it when my life's like, she says that multiple times. But it doesn't take away from the track and it doesn't actually feel repetitive. Sometimes I don't like the constant repetition on something when it comes to the chorus, the way some people actually say it. But on that point, the way she's saying it sounds so smooth and nicely put that it doesn't feel repetitive at all, even though she says it multiple times. She rapped in the majority of this. She did. I don't know why people are saying this is not a rap album. She said she was going to put a rap album and she didn't even do that. That's not true. The majority of this is a rap album, and she does the courses herself because there's no features at all. So that's not that's factually false. Literally, this is her rapping majority of the portion, doing the courses that need to be do need to be put in this way where she's actually delivering some singing vibes because this is a pop mainstream project. You want that for a record to actually pop and actually go into the mainstream audience radio. You want this to be replayable. You don't just want it to be lyrical miracle. You get what I'm trying to say. So for this overall point, she factually rapped. The idea that she didn't come out with a rap album here is just factually false. Not an opinion. It's not subjective. Attention, I've talked about it before on the TikTok video, the YouTube shorts. I like that track. Go watch the other video. Balut is one of the best tracks towards the end, my opinion. The flow is nice. The bar, about dishes on my ass, but still thicker than some old meal. That's the first one that was noticeable to me. I'm trying to think, wait, why is she saying dishes? Of course, dishes, the plates on my ass. Dishes on my ass. 
but I'm still thicker than some oatmeal. I'm not even sure if I understand it. Of course, the whole thicker than an oatmeal. I remember the meme from the person in the video. I think they were like in court or something. I know, I know that part. I'm just wondering what the dishes on my ass means, but maybe because English is my second language, <laughs> I don't understand the whole double entendre or meaning or whatever it is. Let me know. Copy the greats. That's my number one strategy. So she's aware of the influence she has. The key point is it does work because for some other artists I got put, they could copy, they could mimic, but it won't work. That's why she actually says, look at my stats, validating that it works when she actually copies the greats. She says this on the track, Balut. She says, copy the greats. That's my number one strategy. Interesting. Not everybody's going to admit to that, but the fact that it does work for her is because she has the talent to make the mimicking, the copying, the learning from the previous artists work. That's how it works because she actually has the talent to put in to the work. Other people don't have the talent to try to copy the styles. So many people have done it, try to get that influence and it doesn't work. It's a flop. That freestyle at the end was fire, the YWM. The way she changed her tone, she said, y'all must be kidding. Yeah, that transition right there, the way she started screaming when she said, y'all must be kidding. That was fire. Listen to it. It definitely felt like a freestyle for sure. I like that track, even though it's one of the more aggressive ones. And I'm liking more the smoother ones than this one, like Paint the Town Red. That aggressiveness right there, it felt pleasing in time in terms of listening to it as a tone. I like that one. So that's one of the better tracks towards the end too. That's the last one. And yeah, that's my overall thoughts. I think I have here more tracks that I like that I don't like. More tracks here that I do like. That's my whole point compared to the ones that I don't like. So I think this is probably a six or a seven for me. Solid Doja Cat project. Let me know what you think. Do you actually like this? Do you think it's a flop that she sold 72K with no features? I highly doubt anybody in her camp has seen it like that i don't think it's a flop at all and i think a lot of the um singles did very well even the ones i didn't like like demons and she performed it in the vmas very well but um personally for me paying the town red is probably the best one from the mainstream single ones but the ones i just mentioned were very good too agora hills i did like also let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts that's it for the doja cat scarlet review